Loratadine is an antihistamine that is used to treat symptoms such as itching, runny nose, watery eyes, and sneezing caused by allergies like hay fever. It can also help relieve itching from hives. However, it does not prevent hives or treat serious allergic reactions. If your doctor has prescribed epinephrine to treat allergic reactions, always carry your epinephrine injector with you and do not use loratadine in place of your epinephrine. If you are self-treating with this medication, be sure to carefully read the manufacturer's package instructions so you know when to consult your doctor or pharmacist. For those using the tablets or capsules, do not use in children younger than 6 years unless directed by the doctor. And for those using the liquid or chewable tablets, do not use in children younger than 2 years unless directed by the doctor. It is important to take loratadine as directed by your doctor to get the most benefit from it. The usual daily dosage is 1 tablet or capsule, 10 mg, once a day. It can be taken with or without food. Loratadine is typically taken in the morning, but you can also take it at night if it makes you drowsy. If you have any questions about the best time to take loratadine, consult your doctor or pharmacist for advice. When taking loratadine, it's important to carefully follow the directions on the product package if you are self-treating. If the medication has been prescribed by your doctor, be sure to follow their instructions and the ones on your prescription label. Always consult your doctor or pharmacist if you have any questions. You can take loratadine by mouth with or without food, usually once a day, as directed by your doctor or the product package. If you are using the chewable tablets, make sure to chew each tablet well and swallow. If you are using the liquid form, be sure to measure the dose carefully using a special measuring device or spoon. The dosage of loratadine is based on your age, condition, and how you respond to the treatment. It's important not to increase your dose or take the medication more often than directed. Do not take more than the recommended dose for your age. If your allergy symptoms do not improve after three days of treatment, or if your hives last more than six weeks, make sure to inform your doctor. Seek medical help right away if your condition worsens or if you think you are experiencing a serious medical problem, such as a very serious allergic reaction or anaphylaxis. If you experience any unusual effects from taking loratadine, it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist right away. While serious allergic reactions are rare, it's crucial to seek medical help if you notice symptoms such as rash, itching or swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. Be aware that there may be other side effects not listed here, so make sure to consult with your healthcare professional if you notice anything out of the ordinary. As for the best time to take loratadine, it's recommended to take it as directed by your doctor or pharmacist. The usual dosage for adults and children over the age of 6 is 10 mg once a day. It can be taken with or without food. Always follow the instructions on the product label and check with your doctor if you are unsure about the correct dosage for you or your child. Do not use loratadine if you are allergic to it or desloratadine, or if you have any other allergies. Talk to your pharmacist for more details about the inactive ingredients in this product. Before using this medication, tell your doctor or pharmacist if you have kidney disease, liver disease, or any other medical conditions. It's important to consult your doctor before using loratadine to treat hives. Loratadine does not usually cause drowsiness when used at recommended doses. However, be cautious about driving or using machinery until you are sure you can do so safely. If you are diabetic or have phenylketonuria, PKU, be aware that liquid products or chewable tablets of loratadine may contain sugar and or aspartame. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about using this product safely. Older adults may be more sensitive to the side effects of this drug, especially drowsiness or confusion, which can increase the risk of falling. If you are pregnant, discuss the risks and benefits of taking loratadine with your doctor before using this drug. If you are breastfeeding, consult your doctor before using this medication. When taking loratadine, it's important to be aware of any potential drug interactions that could affect how your medications work or increase your risk for serious side effects. It's also important to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription-slash-non-prescription drugs and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. One thing to keep in mind is that loratadine is very similar to desloratadine, so it's important not to use medications containing desloratadine while using loratadine. Additionally, 
it's important to be aware that this medication may interfere with certain lab tests, such as allergy skin testing, potentially causing false test results. It's important to make sure that lab personnel and all your doctors are aware that you use this drug. As for its uses, loratadine is an antihistamine that is used to relieve allergy symptoms such as watery eyes, runny nose, itching eyes slash nose, and sneezing. The usual daily dosage is 10 mg once a day, and it's best to take it at the same time each day. It can be taken with or without food, and it's important to follow your doctor's instructions for the best time to take this medication. If you or someone else has taken too much loratadine and is experiencing severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical attention. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, you can call a provincial poison control center for assistance. Symptoms of an overdose may include severe drowsiness. If your doctor has prescribed loratadine for you, it's important not to share it with others. Sharing prescription medication can be dangerous and may not be safe for someone else to use. If you forget to take a dose of loratadine, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed one and take the next dose at your regular time. Do not take a double dose to make up for the missed one. When it comes to storing loratadine, it's important to pay attention to the specific instructions on the package. Different brands and strengths may have different storage requirements, so be sure to read the label or ask your pharmacist for guidance. It's important to protect loratadine from light and avoid storing it in the bathroom. And as with all medications, make sure to keep it out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to getting rid of expired or unused loratadine, it's important to do so properly. Do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. Instead, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for the best way to discard the product. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.